Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I use this AI generated image and turn it into a 3D animation in less than 6 minutes. So let's get into it. So I think everybody at this time uh, is already familiar with the process of making AI generated image so I'm not going to bore you with all that details. Uh, so here I am in mid journeys and this is the image that I just generated by AI so I'm going to just save it to my computer. And just so you know that Midjourney doesn't generate like full HD and crispy uh, image, so I'm going to use another platform uh, which is called Let's Enhance .io to enhance the uh, the image that I just generated. So I'm going to upload it here and then uh, make sure to turn on this Light AI toggle. Uh, I think that's enough, and then we can click on this uh, Start Processing buttons, and you see that it's processing the, the image and just give it a few seconds and then you click here to download the image and now you can just open it to, to see how it's different so you can see that it's improved the overall details just make everything clearer, crispier and uh, just better overall so I think this is looking good so I'm going to use it for the next step so for the next step I'm going to turn this those characters into a 3D shape using this tool called Monster Match. So basically this platform is gonna give you the ability to draw anything and then just inflate it into a 3D geometry. Okay so let's get started so you click here to start over and then you go to this drop down menu and select import template image and let's select the those image here so we have a background uh, reference image here so you can just draw over it. So after you're done, you can click on this inflate button to see the magic. Uh, so basically, it just create this kind of balloon shape with the actual image mapping on over the 3D object. So it's not perfect, but uh, for our purpose, uh, I think it's gonna work. So now let's click here to export it to a OBJ format. So we can just import it into Cinema 4D. All right, so here we are in Cinema 4D. I'm going to import this OBJ file to our scene. Um, make sure to import this uh, materials file as well and maybe we could scale it maybe 10 times bigger to so see so we have this uh, 3d object here so I'm going to scale it even bigger so you can see clearer so next let's go to the material panels and in the color channel let's load this PNG uh, file that came up with the package uh, and now you see that it's being loaded to this uh, geometry so so you can see that this uh, 3d object only works for a certain angle uh, but I think that's enough for what we need here so I'm going to uh, go with this angles and now we're going to set up the scene and make it better and add more element into it uh, so first thing I'm going to create a platform for the dose to stand on so let's add a landscape object and then we can uh, move it down and then scale it even bigger. All right, so after a few settings, uh, we have something like this. So now I'm going to add material to the platform. Uh, and when it comes to material, I'm going to use this really cool tool, which is called the Quixel. So basically it's platforms and also a Cinema 4D plugin that's gonna give you like a lot of different resources for material like surface, even object, 3D object like ground, metals, any kind of uh, different material with super crispy, super high quality. So after you install this tool and then sign up, uh, you can get access to this application here where you can just browse any kind of different material access. For example, now I'm going to search for char to see what we got. So it's gonna give you a different category of things. So I'm going to select surfaces now let's see what we can use so maybe this one so I'm going to select this and then click on download and once it's done you can click on this export button here so it's gonna export everything to your current Cinema 4D scene so let's go back to Cinema 4D you see that this new material is being added here so let's just drag it over this platform and now you can see that it's looking pretty good already so next step, I'm going to add some lights to the scene. So let's click here to uh, create a light. So for the first light, I'm going to uh, use it as an ambient illumination light uh, to brighten up the whole scene. And I'm going to create a second light. For this time, I'm going to select uh, area light and move it up here a little bit and go to the shadow tab, turn on the area shadows and go to the detail tab and turn on this fall off. Uh, let's select inverse square 
and let's turn on this Z direction only and go here to turn it back because it's facing the other direction so now you can see that the light is casting on the 3D object uh, so next step I'm going to create a sky object and then also create a new material for this sky object so let's click here to create a new materials and then drag and choose sky here and then from here you can just adjust the materials I'm going to load some image so I'm going to use the same image that we have so it would just inherit all of that colors of the image to create a cohesive environment uh, so this is the render preview so I, look, I think it's looking pretty good uh, so now I'm going to just add more element into it and for the superhero cave I'm just using a simple close simulation to create a cave and then attack it to the dose body so it's gonna take a while to get that done so I'm not going to include it into this uh, tutorial so hopefully I'm going to make another tutorial uh, regarding this and once we're done we just render everything into a PNG sequence and then import the sequence into After Effects and in After Effects I'm using this blurry image as a background so you can see that it's created a really cool effects of the 3d environment so that's how you can turn a AI generated image into your own 3D animation. So I hope you find this video helpful. So I'm going to see you in the next one.